And now it's time for Bum Reviews with Chester A. Bum. Tonight's review... Transformers Age of Extinction. Oh my god, this is the greatest movie I've ever seen in my... Excuse me one moment. Yes? Oh! Okay. Here's the thing. A long time ago, I did a review of the first Transformers movie. It was one of the first reviews I ever did, and I loved it. Uh, but the thing is, I kind of stole his style, you know? It was like I was young and didn't know any better, and sure enough, he sued me, and we decided he was always going to do the Transformers movies. But for this one, this one, no, 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 no. I am tackling this one, okay? Because I have, I got some shit to say about this film, okay? I, I got some shit, okay. <clears throat> this goes to all the boys watching this. All the eight-year-olds to 17, college boy, I don't know. And don't get me wrong, I'm sure there's like girls and women and even grown men who go and see this movie, but you're not the ones that made a hundred million dollars for Michael Bay this weekend, okay? You're not. No, it's boys. It's boys from eight to 17. Uh, they made him a whole shit ton of money with this. And I just want to make something very, very clear that you may not know. You may not know this, but you deserve to know, okay? You deserve to know. Michael Bay has your penises. And I get, Michael Bay has your penises. And you might be doing a check, no, it seems to be right there, but it's not. It's not. He has them. And here's what I mean by that. Um, you know, you, you go, you see the first movie. First movie, I loved it. I thought it was great. It, it's my 80s heroes that, you know, yeah, were kind of cheesy and kind of lame. In this movie, that was kind of cheesy and kind of lame, but it had these cool effects. It had this really incredible stuff. It had robots fighting each other. It had a lot of funny comedy, and it had all sorts of big explosions and fights in the city. Stuff we never saw before. And then when people saw it, they said, hey, we can make movies like that. We got other movies coming out like that. Like we got Avengers and all these Marvel movies and Dark Knight, all these incredible action pictures. It's like, wow, holy smokes. And then Michael Bay decided, hey, on the height of all this incredible shit going on, why don't I make the exact same goddamn thing? And he made Transformers 2. And it was the exact same goddamn thing. And it made a ton of money. Well, okay, well, whatever. But uh, maybe the third one will be good. And what did he do? He made the exact same goddamn thing. And... Sure enough, it's like, okay, can't, can't possibly make the same mistake three times. Mistake? Fuck! It made millions of dollars! But surely, something inside them has to say, Hey, I want something new, just something to challenge the masses, or even my own infant mind. But no, he made Transformers goddamn fucking four. And you know what it is? You know what? Take a guess. It's the same goddamn fucking thing! It is the exact same goddamn fucking thing! And here's what he did. The, the, the Michael Bay formula, clearly it's a mathematical formula now, look in the math books, it's there, they're teaching it in schools. He takes this fishing rod and he throws it and he grabs you by the penis. He's got it. I mean, he's got it right there on the hook. I mean, because how can any boy not? I mean, you... I I explosions! Robots fighting each other! How can you not? It's like, yes, Michael Bay, take my penis, take my penis, it's yours, I trust you with it! And then, you know what he did? You know what he did? He abused it. He fucking abused it. He kept reeling that thing in, and we were just like, yeah, stretch it further, stretch it further, and Big Tilly, that fucking became his. It's his now. If you went and saw this movie, you officially gave up your penis to Michael Bay. You're wondering what that little voucher was when you went in? Yeah, that's what that was. Your penis is his. <sighs> Remember the first time you saw an explosion? Remember how cool it was? I mean, how, how can anyone, male, female, whatever age, not look at an explosion and say, holy shit, that's incredible. A giant ball of flaming death. Smoke, blaze, incredible. And sure enough, we said, we want more. So we got more. Okay, well, we got 80s action films. We got the Stallones. We got the Schwarzeneggers. And then we had the 90s. And we got even more explosions. And then we fucking got Michael Bay. And we got too fucking greedy. We got too fucking greedy. You wanna know why? Cause he kept shoving the fucking explosions down our throats! Until now they don't even register! What's an explosion now? You know what an explosion is? An explosion is like a light breeze going across your face. No, it's not even that because I would feel the light breeze. No, it's just air. It, this is an explosion now! It doesn't register at all. There are gotta be like 200 fucking explosions in this movie and, and not one registered at all. But what do you care? Your dumb male adolescent minds are now trained to just watch it. It, it can't help.
dump it now because he has your penis. Michael Bay has your penis so that whenever he puts an explosion or boobs, you gotta look. You can't help it. Now here's the thing. Mindless is fine, okay? There is nothing wrong with mindless entertainment, but it has to be something creative and new. New, not different. There is a difference between the two. Okay, new is something you've never seen before. Different is something that you have seen, it's just not what you expect. It just looks a little different. You know, that th that's it. And just taking a robot punching itself when the explosion happening and a big breasted woman going, ah, ha, ha, you know, it's still the same thing. I don't care if it looks like a dinosaur, it's still doing the same goddamn thing. Oh, what? The robot doesn't talk? Even better! We don't have to listen, we don't have to comprehend dialogue! The human language is a waste, according to Michael Bay. You know, just go in there and just throw out poster taglines. That's all it is. Every fucking line in this movie from Optimus Prime, he's a goddamn psychotic. All he ever says is, let's kill them all. I want to murder them. I want to rip open his head and bathe in his blood. Okay, he didn't say that, but he's like one step away. Okay, and just the idea that there's young people out there who are just like, yeah, more of that, please! Take my penis! Take my penis! You own it! You don't know you're being manipulated. Okay, you think you're buying a product. You think you're buying the toys, but you're not. Michael Bay is buying you. You are the product, okay? Because when you go and see the exact same shit four times in a row, it's, it's like someone who eats fast food every day. And don't get me wrong, I eat fast food, you know, I eat junk food, I'm not the skinniest guy, but at the same time, once in a while, you sort of say, hey, maybe a veggie here or there, or, or, or even something with protein, real meat, you know, not meat out of a hose like Taco Bell, I mean, like a fucking steak or something, but here's the thing. That stuff, an expensive meal, like a meal that's really good for you usually, uh, costs money. It costs more money to get stuff that's good for you. A good movie and a bad movie costs exactly the same. It costs exactly the fucking same. And let me tell you something. It's not like this film is destroying cinema. It's not. A lot of good movies came out this year. We had uh, X-Men Days of Future Past. We had uh, How to Train Your Dragon 2. We had the fucking Lego movie. Weren't those great? And you know what? Despite the fact that they were all based on something, and yeah, Hollywood's out of ideas, we established that, but they're still putting in something new in every single one of those ideas. And, and, and they're still creating something fun, and, and something entertaining, and something that requires some thought to put together. The first Transformers probably required a little bit of thought, don't get me wrong. I mean, it's... We never really saw that before. We never saw robots fighting each other on top of buildings. I mean, yeah, now they're fucking everywhere, but before it was kind of new. It's like we couldn't wait to see what the next one was going to be. Because you know what the first one had? It had a fight in the desert, a fight in the city, and it had the Transforming. It was unbelievable. You know what the second one had? A fucking fight in the desert. Yeah, we saw that. You know what the third one had? A fucking fight in the city. Yeah, we saw that. You know what the fourth one had? A fight in the fucking city. We just saw that in three goddamn movies. You want to see the guy who is trying to give you your identity? Because that's what he's trying to do. All these little catchphrases and all these talks of strength and kill them all and stay with family and strength and strong and stuff like that. It's giving you the illusion that this is making you smarter. Guns are making you smarter. Explosions are making you smarter. You know, it's stronger, smarter, all that stuff. You know, women with big breasts are super bombshells just being like, Oh, I want you. And, oh, I can do all this cool mechanical stuff, whatever. But I just want you. No reason I just want you because you're so strong and you shoot stuff and explosions. It's not making you stronger. It's making you weaker. Okay, it is making you weaker because there's nothing challenging about it anymore. Nothing. Even the most mindless stuff has something new, something challenging. But the guy who is bringing you this, the, the, the guy who says, I know your identity. I say freedom. I say America. I say strength. I say explosions. I say guns. This is what he did when he didn't have any of the explosions, any of the guns, any of the special effects, or any words written by somebody else in front of him, in front of hundreds of people. Um... Excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, let's thank Michael Bay for joining us.
Ladies and gentlemen, you just gave that man a hundred million dollars. Yeah, you just sent a message to Hollywood telling them that this guy is the intellectual genius that we keep wanting to see over and over and over. That if you put him in charge and just have him keep giving us the same bullshit, we'll go see it. I mean, he doesn't have to change the texture or the look or anything. I mean, maybe at the most, he'll call it cow shit instead of bullshit. And we'll buy it. We'll totally buy it. This is a guy who recently, when reporters were asking, what do you think about all these people that complain about the Transformer hate, says, what do I care? They'll see it anyway. That's how confident he is that he has your penis. And if you want to see the film, he does. He has your penis. After a while, you just become concerned. I mean, it's just, it's literally the exact same thing. If you were just to grab a baseball bat and go like that, you'd be like, huh, well, that was a strange experience. Huh, I'll do it again. And again, and again, and again, and again. And at some point, somebody's going to be concerned for you. They're just going to be concerned. This bat is Michael Bay. It's Michael Bat. Michael Bat is hammering your penis, and it's awful. And he's taking it, he's doing whatever he wants with it because you feel you have no control. I'm gonna tell you, you do have control. You have control, man. I mean, it's, it's this over this. Sometimes you think this calls the shot, but you know what? This is stronger, okay? This is stronger. And I know there's still young people out there that think, it's a war, I have to defend my manhood. And it, no, no, it's not. If you think that's what it is, you've already lost. Okay, that's not how this works. This is finding out how you're unique, how you're different, how you can help people, how you can do stuff that's incredible. It's about finding your own identity, not Michael Bay giving you an identity. Look at this poster. He cares nothing about making you a better person. He just wants to sell a product. And by doing so and by having you always buy it, you become the product. And that's not what we want, man. You are stronger. You are better. And you're gonna show it to the world, and you're gonna be unbelievable, and you're gonna start by saying, I want to be challenged. I, I, I want new stuff. I want more of these other movies coming out. I want more of X-Men Days of Future Past. I want more Lego the movie. I want more How to Train My Dragon 2. I want all that stuff. <sighs> you deserve it, man. You deserve it. <sighs> take care of yourself, man. Just take care of yourself. That was beautiful. Ow!